Derek, what's happening? Trippy Reaper. Brody Smith, what's up, Brody? Hail Hydra. Nice. What's up, guys? Let's do this. All right, so back at the beginning, for those of you who missed the first part of the live stream, I highly recommend you check out that part of the playthrough. This is the first level here, Mumbo's Mountain. I think we do have one more puzzle piece to get there, or one more jiggy in Mumbo's Mountain. All right, try to get these controls down. What is that? The ground was rumbling or something. Shay Ortega, what's happening? M. Gamble, appreciate the like. Moving on. Jan Dijong, Matt Spice. So I must want to charge my phone for this once again. It died last time. Oh man. Yeah, definitely charge it up. You know, for those of you just joining up, obviously, we're just kicking off the live stream. Zombie Butcher, what's up? What's up, guys? All right, there's level two. The entrance is in this uh, dead end, so we're not going to go over to that. But level two was the Treasure Trove Cove. Done with that, let's move on. What's up, guys? T. Casper, what's up? You know I love just kind of chilling out with, with the true trippies of the community, you know, these GTA 5 live streams have been nuts here at the channel. It's pretty awesome just kick back, get into one of my favorite games of all time with you guys. And as I mentioned to you guys, you know, this is the game that really got me into mystery solving in video games to begin with, finding Easter eggs. So I did want to start off the live stream by kind of showing that off one more time just to let everybody know exactly what I'm talking about, and then we'll vanquish this one together. Trippy Blood Dragon. What's happening, Blood Dragon? This is going to be a pretty late live stream. It's 11.30 now, so we're kicking off the live stream at 11.30. That's an easy number I can remember. Aaron Wagner saying, ah, chilling. Hell yeah, guys. Uh, what did I go in this level by accident? Wait, is that the... Oh, that's the entrance to the entire level? Oh, okay, I just didn't see the door. Yeah, so there's the next level, Clanker's Cavern. Hopefully we're done with that one, at least for a while. I'm really interested to see what's going to happen here, guys, as far as, you know, what we're going to have to do at the end. Are we going to have to get any more jiggies? Are we going to get enough? Because we've done a great job of getting as many as possible. We've gotten all the notes so far as well, which is definitely a, an accomplishment. Die. We got the fairy. How are we doing on these feathers? Seven, eight. Okay. We already got this, right? I think we can move on, right? Man, it's like the hub world is amazing itself. Trippy recoil, what's happening? Yeah, guys, for those of you who missed it, we've been working pretty hard on our Banjo-Kazooie live stream playthrough. The first part, guys, was craziness. Oh, I'm trying to drink my coffee, so I need two hands to do this maneuver. Get back up there, Banjo. Yeah, that first episode, guys, was like six and a half hours. So you can imagine we got quite a bit accomplished, and we're now in prime position to finish this one off. Let me drink my coffee in peace. What is this, a giant ogre? I remember we opened up something on the top of the uh, witch head there. All right. There's that jiggy there. By the way, jiggies are puzzle pieces. They're pretty much the MacGuffin for the game. You know, if you played Super Mario 64, then you know, you're know you getting, you're gonna try to go for the star pieces. These are jigsaw puzzle pieces. All right, let's see where this takes us. Some of my favorite levels of all time are gonna be coming up in this playthrough, guys, during this live stream. Click Clock Wood. All right, over here was the next level, Bubble Gloop Swamp. So that one's done as well, guys. I think we actually got all of the pieces in that one. Actually, you know what, we're missing one. 
But they're all easy. You know, the ones we're missing are no problem to get at all. Alright, this is... Dang it, this is a dead end on both sides, I believe. We have to go back. Shane Moto. What's up, Shane? Okay, can we get up to the top? Let's see what's over on the other side, guys. Thanks again for joining up, guys. This is gonna be epic, you know. I'm pretty I'm pretty into this uh, playthrough for sure. It's gonna be fun to beat it. Now I I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do it. It's a true challenge. I remember the ending gets pretty fucking hairy. Um, I also want to mention that in that first part of the playthrough, guys, I did mention this is a remake a few times by accident. It's not like a total remake. It's basically just an HD, you know, version of it. I mean, you could easily call it an HD remake. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to completely classify it. You guys can see, you know, I mean, N64 game in all of its, uh, all of its glory, but... Just a little bit better looking for the Xbox One. So here's the next level, guys. Gobi's Valley. That is going to be the first level we have to tackle here in this live stream. So we're going to be doing the desert. Pretty cool level. And it's only going to get better from that. The desert. Then we get my favorite, probably, ah, oh, man. My favorite level, it's almost like a tie between Click Clockwood and Mad Monster Mansion. But they're pretty much the next two. You can see this leads to Mad Monster Mansion. And this is the level that we're going to jump into real fast so I can show all of you new people to the episode or to the playthrough. The biggest, you know, I'd say the first mystery that I ever found. Get away from us. In any game. And it's, it's pretty much just what got me into hidden mysteries. I get that question a lot, you know. Why did you start YouTube? You know, why did you get into the Chiliad mystery? I would say that it actually, strangely enough, all spawns from this game and what I'm about to show you guys. By the way guys, if any of the sound needs to be adjusted, let me know if it's, if it's too quiet, if you want it a little bit louder, anything like that, just make sure to let me know. Pokemaster Coon. Yep. We're gonna attempt it. We're gonna attempt it, Justin. Didn't we already beat this guy? Press A to accept or B to chicken out. We're gonna chicken out for now. I think we already beat you. Unless you have to beat him twice, which wouldn't surprise me. We might have to look up like a checklist at the end if we get caught up. But we're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, so we're going to attempt it, guys. I mean, that's that's the plan. I'm not positive. I have not beaten this game in quite a long time, of course. So because of that, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I'm certainly going to do my best. All right, trying to find the right place, guys. It should be, I believe, over here. Danny Otis, what's happening? Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I yeah, appreciate the likes, guys, especially for this live stream. You know, just a chill, laid back Banjo Kazooie live stream. Appreciate all of you guys in here. Hell yeah. Let's do it, guys. I'm telling you, I know a lot of you, you know, a lot of you guys are young bucks. Of course, a lot of you guys are a little bit older as well. But for you young bucks, you might not be totally familiar with this game, but trust me, it's probably the best platformer of all time. I know platformers aren't exactly the biggest games right now, but they're pretty epic, and I'd say this game's awesome. Still to this day, it really holds up. And as I said, it's the game that single-handedly got me into Easter eggs and hidden mysteries. And this is why, guys. Right in here, you come to this cave. Pretty cool looking cave, right? You got this guy. He's scared of bears. Well, if you come up to this cave right here, this, uh, you know, tunnel, I guess, and look in, you can see an ice key. Now, here's the weird thing. I'm guessing 
because this never opened up, okay? This was closed. This was closed. It did not open up. So this is the remake, guys. So apparently, I mean, I'm just learning this for the first time. Apparently, it's opened up in the HD version because this never opens. But now it's open and it's doing kind of some kind of sound effect. It's like, after all these years, after your childhood, you can finally pick up this key. Because I'm telling you guys, this would just spin out of place, you know? And it's like, why can't I collect it? And now apparently I can collect it, so let's grab it. Are you serious? What's, what's he going to say? We should keep this. Stop and swap item for later. See, that was all, that was, that was bogus before, guys. I'm telling you, that key was out of, it was just out of touch. You could not grab it. This door was closed, and it was a mystery that went unsolved. Now, it was supposed to be connected to Banjo-Tooie, the sequel, but it never happened. Now, did they fix it in this version? Because this is the most updated version of the game, guys. And it appears that, obviously, because I was able to connect, or grab that key, they fixed it. So there it is. Yeah, they opened it. Nice, 25 Segura. Thank you. Thank you. He's saying they opened it? What the fuck? Yeah, maybe it's... I mean, this game isn't too old, so I didn't exactly read up on it, but that is kind of mind-blowing because that fucked with me as a kid, guys. I'm telling you, I found the key, and it's just like finding the jetpack in Grand Theft Auto V. It's like, whoa, I found the jetpack symbol. Where's the jetpack? And in this game, it was like, whoa, I found the key. Uh, how do I grab it? You know, what the hell's going on? Apparently now we can actually grab the key, so that's kind of crazy. I've never done it before. I wonder if we need to bring... I wonder if we need to bring the... Uh the walrus guy over or outside of the level you might want to try that I'm not sure if we can actually get over there run banjo or fly or whatever All right, we're good. trippy recoil saying the kid in me is mind blown I hope some of you guys know where I'm coming from because that's one of those things where it's like man people are asking me what you know what got me into it and that was it you know that's the first one I ever found so I wasn't sure if people would kind of understand if some people would be like what but it's good to have some of you guys who actually you know of course maybe played the game or whatever understand where I'm coming well, easy baby what's happening yeah we're gonna try to finish this one up guys stick with me for the adventure bubbling panda trippy blood dragon Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. You know it means a lot. Really appreciate you guys. And once again, you know, that's something we're adding to the channel, you know, because, you know, we've had some, just a pretty cool, pretty cool live stream community. I think it's, it's definitely something we need to do. We need to beat the trippiest of all the games right here for everybody to join up with. So where's the exit? What I was thinking here, and we're moving on to the next level, but a lot of times what you have to do is take your animal transformation out of the level. And I don't think we did that with the little walrus guy here. That said, we're nearly dead. Hopefully we don't get a fatality here. Fatality! We're out of here. Alright, I'm worried here. I'm worried. I think we actually unlocked something in that... Oh no! Damn, these snowmen are deadly accurate. Get weak. No! Alright, so it looks like probably not. Usually there is some sort of a uh, secret. I mean, there's some really well-hidden secrets in this game, guys, as you probably could kind of tell. But, no, nope. looks like no need to bring the walrus out. Mobile magic get weak. 
no. Huge shout out to the mods. Thank you, Top Cat, Trippy Blood Dragon, Legendary Mike. Hope all you guys are doing very well. And once again, thanks all of you guys for being part of the Banjo Kazooie live stream playthrough. Hope all you guys watching after the live stream enjoy it. Definitely drop in the comments section below, you know, what you think about the game. Is it new to you? Is it one of your all-time favorites? Uh, so we don't have the shoes yet. We need the shoes. Uh, but yeah, I can tell you right now, you know, reading those comments, it really is epic. I mean, you guys should know. If, think about if you had your YouTube channel. A lot of you guys do. You know, and you're you're playing through a game that you think is one of the best ever. Nothing makes you feel ha more happy about that than hearing people actually agree. Oh, wait, how does Kazooie die too? All right, let's move on. Andy Lyle, appreciate that. Trippy Reaper, just continue to be a, you know, good part of the community. You've been pretty amazing. You know, I appreciate, definitely appreciate all that you guys do for the community. Your time will come. Oh, look at that. We were right next to some life. Alright, so, are we good? I think we're good to go, guys. We can pretty much head back to the desert. Start it off. Chrono YT, what's happening? Here it is, guys. The first level officially for this part of the playthrough. Gobi's Valley. How do you get across is the question. Do you just jump? Turn the camera. This doesn't seem right. I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing something. I'm sure there's some shoes back there that I'm supposed to grab. Fuck it. Sweets McGee, what's up, Sweets? Uh, wait, man, I think the game came out in... I don't know, I want to say like 1990 or something like that. I'm not completely positive. Sorry about that. Maybe, you know, do a little Google or something, let me know. Alright guys, the first level officially. Let's do this. Alright, we got this guy over here. So this is a desert level. You know, what's a platformer without a desert level? Oh no. Oh, also guys, I do want to mention that... You know, I think there's some key upgrades to this version of the game. Namely, like, the collectibles that you get in the original version when you died. All of that stuff resets. So I believe they fixed that in this version. Meaning, you know, pretty much once you collect all the music notes, you don't have to collect it again. Which is pretty fucking good. I mean, that's very, very uh, much appreciated. Trust me, there's people that rage quit this game because, you know, they would get to like 98 music notes, die, and then realize they had to collect them all over again. I mean, we're talking about 100 music notes, that's a lot. But, luckily they fixed that in this version. Honestly, I didn't think it was too bad. You know, I'm okay with it, mainly because Mario 64, you had to find all 100 in one life. But still... You know, it's it's appreciated. I'm okay with them uh, making it easier. It was 1998, says Sad Ninja. Okay, yeah, 1998. Way off there, but you guys know. 1998. Thank you, Ninja. A little backflip action, speaking of Mario 64. Man, this level is hard, guys. This, I remember being one of the tougher levels. We can do it. Okay, so there's a flying pad, which... We don't have too many red feathers yet. 
some yellow feathers. Let's grab those. How are we doing on these? Oh, we already got ten of them. Looks like we're gonna have to open up that door. Oh, magic carpet? What? We gotta get on that. Nineteen ninety would be side scrolling says Dolphit. <laughs> Let's head this way, guys. The good thing is this level's not too huge. At least compared to some other levels. So I think we'll be alright. Oh he's blinking. It's creepy. Should I poke him in the eye? Take that. Yeah, so I think this this level knock on wood we should be able to do a little bit fast. Let me get some more feathers. This is the uh, these red feathers are what we need to be able to fly, which of course we've been doing. But I just want to remind anybody who missed the last part. Whoa, what is that? Wall master or floor master? Extra points if any of you guys actually recognize that reference. Huge shout out to Vaughn Miller. What's happening, Vaughn? Saturday Night Insanity. What's going on? Trippy Johnny Number Five. This game looks like so much fun. It is. It really is. Maybe not everyone can understand and appreciate the, you know, the joy of a platforming game, but yeah, it's pretty fucking epic. And we will de definitely defeat it here, guys. What does that do? Oh, Schnike. All right, all right. Oh, yes. Oh, hell yeah. All right, where does this lead? Who's this guy? I think we need to put some eggs or whatever in this moving basket or whatever. Yeah, one thing that's really good about this game, guys, is the controls. They're really spot on. Top Cat, I, RJ should play Toe Jam and Earl. Top Cat, man, let's get this straight, guys. I'm a massive gamer. You name a game, I've probably played it before, guys. Toe Jam and Earl, okay? That game is fucking hard. Ah, Chili Ad Mystery Guru, taking a break from the mountain. Epic comment, Guru. That's that's an epic comment. That's the best comment so far. Taking a break from the mountain is right. Um, but yeah, guys. Control scheme is amazing. I think it's really the best platformer of all time. How do I... How do I do the eggs? Hold on. There it is. Let's collect it back. But yeah, Toe Jam and Earl, guys, that game was freaking hard. Really hard. Two games that people ask me about all the time, like classic games that are like, you know, I pretty much tell them to get lost. They're have, like, have you actually played them? They're impossible. Number one, Toe Jam and Earl. Come on, you can't beat that game. It's freaking hard. And the other one is Echo the Dolphin. No way anybody here is beating Echo the Dolphin. That game is so frustratingly hard. And not even fun. You know, you think it'd be fun, but it gets old fast. Help me with my quest with what? What just happened? Where are we going? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. We'll take it. First piece already, guys. The real Platinum God. I love Banjo-Kazooie. Nice. Thanks again for hanging out with me during the playthrough, guys. You know that means a lot. And there's a lot of people in here. That's epic. Let's do it, guys. We're going to vanquish this one together. Also, guys, I know a lot of people just joined up. Two of my all-time levels. If you hang out, like, if you are chilling here in the live stream, wherever you guys at, are at, whatever country... 
you know, trippy girl, whatever. You got your munchies. The one thing you got to stay tuned for, guys. This game has two of my favorite levels in any video game ever in it. And I have not played these levels in a long time, so they're going to be very nostalgic for me. The two levels that we're going to experience very, very soon, as soon as we get rid of this damn desert level. First one is called the Mad Monster Mansion. The second level is called Click Clock Wood. Epic levels, guys. You're going to really enjoy them. And I know for any of you who've actually played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're just really cool. Oh, is this... Oh, we found the upgrade, right? Yes! Sweet! SNI saying, I'm getting this when I get Xbox One. Nice! Um, I bought Rare Replay, which comes with this game and a ton of other games, for like 15 bucks on Amazon, which is dirt cheap. And I think if any of you guys get that game, Rare Replay, let me know, because a lot of these games are multiplayer, okay? So, it would be good to have some friends who have this game as well. Alright, so what happened here? He teaches us, but doesn't actually give us the shoes. What kind of scam is that, Bottles? So, I was playing Banjo-Tooie, right? I've never played Banjo-Tooie. I love the hell out of this game. 100%ed it a couple times, but never played Banjo Tooie. I pl I turned Banjo Tooie on, right, and just played the beginning, see, you know, because I want to see like, hey, is this a game we're gonna want to live stream playthrough in the future? Well, right at the beginning, this guy, the guy talking right there, Bottles, he freaking dies, like he gets fucked up, like they kill him off. It's pretty savage. I was surprised by that. I was like, whoa, okay. Because you know how that happens a lot? Like, a lot of times, you'll have a game, and then the sequel will be more edgy, you know, or just more dark, because they're trying to mix it up a little bit. I think that's what they did with Banjo-Tooie, but I, I haven't been able to play too much of it. What's up, Trippy Echelon? What's happening? Some boots here. Sweet. We need these. Uh, over this way. Because I saw these right here. This is what I was thinking we probably need them for. Nice. Something is so satisfying about grabbing the musical pieces in this game. Oh, come on, really? I don't care. I'm going to lose two lives. Oh, nice. We actually did it in one. Good enough. Who's this guy? Grab has got a jiggy. What do we have to do? Do we have to get the upgrade here? Old school game store called Cybertron. I've not heard of that. I do go to Orlando all the time, though. It's looking we might have to get the upgrade for this one. Or the, uh, the running shoes and then like run all the way over here. Yeah, definitely. Alright. Before I get those, I'm gonna grab this life. I think the bees are gonna attack us though. <laughs> Stay away, bees. Anything up here? Oh, there they. There's the running shoes. Aha! All right. Got him. Haha. Thousand years. That's how you do that. Trippy Blood Dragon, two bad boys. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Don't y'all ask me to cook something. <laughs> what? How have you not eaten since yesterday? I haven't eaten in an hour and I'm already hungry again. Avion Haley, what's up? Away from a 
those bees. Not the bees. Not the bees! Many of you guys know where I, that came from. Then. More bonus points. I swear I'm just not screaming or yelling random stuff. Stay away from us! To the top of the pyramid. What is that? Who's whistling? Alright, it's a Jinjo somewhere. So the Jinjos are basically five hidden guys in the level. Usually they're very well hidden. Speaking of well hidden, these music pieces are uh, pretty well spread around in this game, or in this level. Okay, go around the rim. Shout out to Bacon Pancakes. What's happening? I had bacon and pancakes. Do you just always have breakfast baking pancakes? I mean, I'm with you. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Huge fan of breakfast. I mean, you guys know how much I love coffee. All right, we need all the feathers we can get. We gotta do some flying. Let's get up here. Yeah, but this level's pretty cool, I gotta say. Nicholas Cage, yes, Top Cat. Someone understands me. And we don't need eggs. We got a fuck ton of those. Mosquito? Damn you. Oh, no. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. See, so there, guys, I would normally, if I didn't... Oh, what's this guy up to? I didn't even talk to this guy. What's your problem? Normally, in the game, like the first version of this, you would have to redo all of the music uh, pieces. So that would suck the big one. But luckily, they updated it. So we're good. A death is not a big deal, but you just do not want to get a game over, of course. Need water? Is there water in the eggs? Dang the controls. Water in the eggs. Need water. I remember there was something weird with this one though. No. That's weird guys, need water. How can we get him water? Banana girl. What's up, banana girl? Saying happy late night Monday. Shout out to banana girl. Shout out to Bob Ramirez. This old man needs some rest. Have a blast, trippy fam. Shout out to you, Bob. Always appreciate your comments. How can you sleep when we have the Banjo Kazooie live stream? I mean, come on, this is, this is crazy shit here. How often do we live stream Banjo Kazooie? Ooh, nice, we need that. Found you, Green Dude. Okay, there's a camel over there. I think that's Gobi. Oh, nice, perfect timing. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. What's going on? Oh. It Maybe that wasn't perfect timing. Dang it. Really? Alright. I got it though. Is it coming back? There it goes. Do your blink. Stop pulling us. Oh, darn it. Really? Alright. We got it this time. How's it going, Ethan? Billy Thunder. It's all about the camel to get him water. Okay, thank you, Billy. We got the camel right here. Oh, what is up with this, dude? Fuck. All right, we can't die. We got it, we got it. Barely. 
We're over here now. Camel, you better be worth it. Okay, we're maxed out on red feathers. What's your deal? It's too hot for Gobi. Need some shade. There we go. You're free! Really? Wow, that was the easiest jigsaw piece ever right there. What's happening, Angel Andres? What is up? Oh, we got uh, Elian Lira in the chat, as well as FDG Trippy. Did you see Omega Number tweeted it to you? It was on the PS4. Whoa. Um, I remember. Actually, you know what? I think I saw the tweet. Try to retweet me that again, because I don't know. Recently, I've been getting blown up. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I mean, it's great. Oh, no. Fuck, dude. Alright. Ah. I don't want to die. This carpet is freaking murder. Alright, here we go. Invisible. Oh, you can just click on it when it blinks. See, I'm thinking we're going to go through it. Alright. Let's zoom out the camera. We do need to go in there as well. I'd like to get some life. Is that some over there? Oh, perfect. And I think we got all the pieces around here. We're up to 55. Doing very well here, guys. We're going to be able to get the desert level done quick. Move on to my favorite levels. So here's how it's going to go, guys. We're going to have one of my favorite levels next, Mad Monster Mansion. Followed up by one of the most despised levels of all time. Now, I like it, but it still is despised. You're going to like it a lot, guys, because you don't have to deal with it. You know, I just, I'm the one who's going to have to deal with it. It's called Rusty Bucket Bay. Notorious level. What's up with this guy? Did he do anything? But yeah, so that's coming up. And then after that, Click Lock Wood. And I think those are the last levels. We'll see if I'm missing any. That'll be it. Trippy Vaughn, what's happening? Ooter Dooter. Is this the emulator or... Uh, this is the HD version. It's not on the Nen Nintendo 64. Unfortunately, my video capture is not working with my retro consoles right now, which you know, kind of sucks. It used to work for some reason. It's just... I don't know. But, um... Yeah, so this is, this is an HD version for the uh, Xbox One. Let's see what's in here. Where is it? Where do we go? Okay, found it. Sad Ninja, can't wait for the haunted house. Nice. Glad to hear you're with me, Sad Ninja. from us. Freaking memory game? Who's that red feather? There it is. Blue egg. Yellow guy. Alright, Kazooie. Music, you know. I didn't mean to get that. Dang it, guys. Stupid memory. The music note was up here. Away from me, you fucker. Uh, probably gonna run out here. Dang it. Close, though. Dang it. Where was that yellow bastard? Alright, we're gonna have to do it over. Oh 
the way over here. Alright, well, at least this guy's right here now. So, go ahead and crush the camel. And, yeah, that should be another jiggy. You can tell this is not the longest levels, thank goodness. A couple easy jiggies, back to back. The jetpack is in there. Oh, is he going to make it hard for us to get to? Oh, that's right. They, they make it so we have to fly to it. We got some more music pieces right there. Get up there. Ice. Come on, these gra I think the graphics are fine. Maybe it's just my nostalgia goggles, no doubt. But I don't know. I think they're fine enough. The textures aren't the best. That's the problem. Yes. Cran box, what's happening? I don't know, Cranbox. I've I've never actually played uh, or at least beaten Banjo Tooie, so you know when it comes to these playthroughs, I like to do games, of course, that I've beaten, so I you know can show you uh, you know show you guys the cool stuff. And I you know just know what I'm doing, of course. Banjo Tooie, never beaten that one, and it doesn't sound nearly as good as this one, anyways. Get away from us! All right, looks like we still need to get on top of the pyramid here. us alone. No, not the bees. Not the bees. Alright. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to be tough. Alright, let's just go up to the top. We'll get the other pieces later. What? Not fast enough? That's crazy. Alright, there's a one up. We actually need one of those. That's weird though, guys. How do we not go fast enough? Are you supposed to get running shoes, maybe? Yeah, I think, actually, now that I think about it, you probably are. Okay, yes, I know where it is. Oh, yeah, this is way faster. We're gonna do it! Three, two, whoa, no, oh, what a troll, they trolled us, like we fell into the hole and then, <laughs> and then the door dropped, bring us right back up, alright, get in the hole, it's probably going to show us where it is again, oh, you don't say, that's where it is, oh. You gotta give it to Banjo Kazooie for at least making these really, you know, difficult challenges. It's not like you have time to spare. You have to be perfect. Whoa! 
What? I mean, seriously? It's a little bit too perfect right there. Alright. Run, you fucking bird. Yes. Go. We're about wasting time just standing there. Four, three, two, one. In the hole. In the hole. Fuck. We did it. Now where? Hey, okay, there's water in the pyramid? This must be the royal pharaoh's stash or something like that. Wait a minute, there's mummies underwater? Jeez, they must be some freaking soggy mummies. Really? Soggy mummy. <laughs> I see the in the hole jokes always. Ah, oh, come on. Um, I did mention in the first part, guys, the swimming controls. Definitely the downside of the game, but that seems to be the case with a lot of the, the 3D platformers from this era. They just could not get the swimming down, unfortunately. You know, it's like there's a useless, really slow swim move, and then you have, you know, the, the striding swim move. It's not terrible, it's just bad for, you know, for being precise. Doesn't help when they fuck it up by putting underwater zombies, though. That's not exactly good. Or mummies, I guess, in this case. Thank you. Get the jig and all the water will empty. Now you tell me. Gavon Marishan, now you tell me. Oh, appreciate you jo uh, joining up, Gavorg. Thank you. Shout out to everybody in the live stream. If anybody's new to the channel, you know, definitely subscribe. Let me know what other old school games we should tackle here for the channel. It's a face. We figured out the mystery. Yeah, but appreciate you guys all hanging out with me for the playthrough and hope you're enjoying it. Oh man. Let's get out of here. Damn you mummies. Fuck you. You guys playing some Forza 6? That's That game definitely looks sick. I'm a definite Forza fan. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. So we can slide down here. Ah, oh, there's some stuff down here. Let's see what we got. Musical note. Ah, oh, we must have to dry this out, guys. swimming ah go 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 trippy echelon jetpack confirmed trippy blood dragging what message retracted what what could she have possibly said guys we found you big guy so we only need two of those guys left getting pretty close on the musical notes as well guys pretty soon we're gonna say adios desert level oh no I didn't realize we were almost out of breath Whew. close call I mean I meant to do it like that that was perfect Let's head up and get some life I believe we need to grab the fly pad again or whatever it's called Oh, we got the bees but no life over there? Oh, man. We need to replenish our health somehow. Oh, yeah, we have that one pyramid. Where was that? 
This one, right? Yeah. This one's easy enough. <laughs> Bird pack in GTA 5. I know, that's the funniest comment you guys are like. It's the jet pack or the bird pack. Alright, so we can't fuck this one up apparently because they kick us out of the whole fucking thing. Which is kind of messed up. Alright, here we go. Music note. Blue egg. So they scrambled it up, didn't they? Scrambled eggs. This is hard too. What the hell? We got this guy on us. like this mummy. Okay, here guys. Music note was right here, right? Too close. <laughs> Kidding me? Thank goodness. By two whole seconds? Oh man. And we got the mummy chasing us around the whole time. Fuck. Oh man. Let's bounce. Never get in that pyramid ever again. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Shout out to everybody in the live stream chat. You guys are amazing. Hey, still no life over there. They're not going to hook us up. Fine. I'll just take the death. Oh. Should have okay. So seventy-three music notes. How many jigsaws did we get here? I'll look it up here in a second. Let's get the uh, few more left in the air. I know we still need the two more Jinjos. I haven't seen them. Oh wait, there's probably something over there, isn't there? Or does it just go around? Oh, maybe not. Alright, but that's a bunch of music pieces. To the skies! Where is it that we had to fly into? Ah, oh, this thing. And we got that tunnel over there. Jeez. Where's the next one? This one can be harder than it looks just because you run out of these feathers. Nice. <laughs> Al Rip, what's happening? Shout out to Al Rip and Drew King. 
What's up, guys? Huge shout out to Drew. Get in there! Alright, what's the next one? Between the cacti? gonna do this one. This is kind of awkward. Oh, the hand is there? Now what? Almost done with this levels, guys. I know a bunch of people are in here. Shout out to all of you guys for hanging out during the Banjo-Kazooie live stream. This is gonna be epic. We're trying to finish this out, guys. And we got three crazy levels coming up after this one. The three most notorious levels in the entire game are left. What is it? Nice. We'll take it. I gotta say, we're doing pretty good here in Gobi's Valley. <laughs> Hilarious comment there, Dolphin. I saw that one. Appreciate that. Oh, it's Dew King, not Drew King. Sorry about that. I called you Drew. Dew King. I got gotcha. you. Alright, let's fly over to that tunnel over there. Let's see what that's all about. I think that's pretty much it, though, isn't it, guys? We got that, we got the music pieces, and we got the Jinjos. And I believe we have pretty much all the music pieces in sight, for the most part. Maybe not. What you up to, Gobi? in here all right so this is another one of the secret places you hear that music guys this is just like the ice key there this was not supposed to be open see all these locations you'd find them and you'd want to open them and they just wouldn't aha so this one opens up and you can get so all these collectibles that were impossible to find are now possible. They fixed it. That's insane, guys. This is so mind-blowing to me. You have no idea. Yeah, this door was closed. So it was like, how do we get in there? And of course, it didn't open. What do we have to wait for the freaking carpet, of course? Here it is. Oh, no. Great. Oh, no. Go, you fucking barren bird. Right, we made it. There's one. Oh, that's a one-up. Fortunately, we kind of need it. Yeah, guys. Really excited to be done with this level and moving on to the next one. Oh, no. Great. Jeez. Can barely hug the side there. Oh, not good. Oh, jeez. Go! 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 We'll grab the mun mumbo token. Fuck it. Okay, so we still need what? 14 more? We can go for some life somewhere. Whoa! And I still am trying to think of where these Jinjos are. I mean, the Jinjos are really hard to find a lot of time. Uh, that, we probably have to do something there, right? Let's go grab some of these honeycomb gimmicks.
we'll pretty much leave the level, guys, when we have the uh, all the the music notes. I'm not worried about the other Jiggies too much. Oh, we still need to get this, don't we? Yeah, we definitely need that. That's crucial. Yeah, I just haven't seen the uh, the Jinjos anywhere. Where they? Where the hell could they be? And we also, okay, so we need to find a way to drain this. Let's see if it has something to do with the eggs, maybe. Aha. Hold still. What you gonna do? Oh, damn, what is this? Oh, of course. So we're building a pyramid? No, we don't need to do that. Nicely done. Another one? Alright, this better be a damn good pyramid that we're building, guys. There we go. Train the swamp. So apparently the water has not drained yet. We need to go in the pyramid. Better be something good in there. What's in here? King Sandy Butt's tomb? Really? King Sandy Butt. Okay. Oh, geez, a maze? And we're timed. What is with this level and timing us? Oh man, really? For fuck's sake, I don't know. Okay, uh, this way. Dang it, guys! This is the bird much faster. Oh! Oh, I went the wrong way. Get away, mummy. Really? Mummy. Five, four, three, two. Dang it, we did it. Oh, there was that witch thing that we need to go back and hit. Ah, uh, there's one. You see how well they're hidden there, guys? That one's tough. I'll take that. Honey and Tabasco, says Dolphin? What are you talking about? What do you do with the honey and Tabasco? Put it on a cracker, maybe? Okay, so there's the exit. Why are they timing us again? Oh, son. Really? Oh, I hate those mummies. No, didn't want to leave the stage. Yeah, we need to go back in there to grab the, uh, the witch pad right there, which, you know, once we step on that, I think it pretty much makes a puzzle piece somewhere in the over the uh, overworld. So where are we going? The pyramid. There it is. 
Alright, shouldn't be too bad as long as we can avoid the damn mummy. Curse of the mummy. <laughs> Trippy trip insane. Hurry! What's up, Kasabian? Screw your warning. This is the witch right here. Ah, nice. I know where that is. Coming up on the mummy. There he is. What's in here? This is a dead end there. I think there's anything back there, guys. I'm despair. Fortunately, there's nothing in there, though. Welcome, Kasabian. Welcome, Crazy Cans. Crazy Cans doing one of the heists. So that still didn't drain the water, though. That's strange, guys. Honestly... I mean, I really want to get all the music notes. I just can't think of, like, where's where's the ones we're missing? Hmm. Definitely need this. Serious Animator X. Train no school like old old school. This is definitely an old school game for sure. Gotta get the wings, guys, and figure out what we're missing here. Charlie Sanchez, what's happening, Charlie? Spyro 3. So, what's the best of the Spyro games? I'm guessing the Spyro 3 is probably the best one. says Billy Thunder. The one I'm on now? Classic like GTA 3. I would say uh, Do King. Um, I would like to play Vice City once we finally get that. I'm, I'm going to be getting a PS4 here hopefully soon. And... Yeah, that's one of the games I can't wait to get on that. James S.B., yep, absolutely. <laughs> nice, good call, good call. That tickles. This is a new one, I will say. Put eggs in the nose. No cocaine jokes, guys. Come on. Just kidding. That's right, we didn't get in there yet. Finally, guys, this should be our last stop. And we can move on to the monster mansion, the haunted mansion. Guys, you are going to love it. It's an epic level. I promise you're going to be really into it, guys. Or these fuckers. I officially, I don't know about this level. I gotta say, this is one of my most disliked levels. I mean... The missions just aren't as fun as in the other levels. There's a couple that seemed, you know, like the one where we had to 
say we had to go grab Gobi, who's the camel, and then he automatically goes to the tree. So it's kind of like two in one there. Not the best missions. What the heck? Uh, we gotta jump up at the top. Oh hell yeah. Nine of ten, so the only one we're missing is the Jinjo. You would think the Jinjo would be in here somewhere. And we got all 100 notes. Yes, guys. So close to vanquishing this level. Jinjo, you're really not in here. Yeah, you normally hear him. James SB asking, what was the big mystery in this game? It's in the uh, snow level, and even in this level, I'll show you real fast before we leave. But um, in the uh, ice level in this game, there was this massive hidden key. So you can imagine, as a kid, I would find this hidden key that was just out of reach. And I was like, whoa, how do you, you know, how do you get the key? And you could never get it. Now, sure enough, in this version, they actually open up some of the things. Like, I, we just got the key, surprising to me. And then this door was a big mystery. That door, James, was closed in the original version. Now, all of a sudden, it's open for some reason. And we can actually uh, collect what's inside, which turned out to be a giant blue egg. So, crazy stuff. You thought you heard him whistle in there? I did. I was listening for a whistle. I didn't hear it. Ah, uh, what? It disappeared. We need to get that, guys. Yeah, we're gonna get the honeycomb. Thanks for the reminder. I was just trying to get it, of course, but disappeared on us. Let's grab it again. Let me know if you guys if you hear him at all. Shout out to Shay. I mean it also for some reason this like because you can see that feather thing down there which alludes to this being uh you think it would be drained. Yeah, I don't remember what that's about. Shout out to Cranbox who's playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Nice. How is that, Cranbox? Is that a must get? Kasabian asking if I ever played Crash Bandicoot. Definitely play Crash Bandicoot. We're gonna do a playthrough similar to this, or similar like this, to uh, Crash Bandicoot 2, Kasabian. So, you know, if you're into these old school playthroughs, we're definitely gonna have a Crash Bandicoot one in a very similar style. Probably will take about two, two live streams to conquer, just like this one. There's one up by the cactus thing. Where? Over here? Oh man. Oh man. Oh, come on! Are you serious? That's fucking annoying. Take this, bees. Might have to come back for the one Jinjo, but that's not that big of a deal. At least we know it's only one. Give us your honeycomb thing. We, is it maybe up here because we can climb it? No, guess not. All the 
the way over here. No! This game's pretty challenging, and it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. I mean, this level... Oh, I went the wrong way. Back around this way. I'll give some shout-outs while we wait for this. Billy Thunder, you need all the birds in order to beat the game, I thought. I don't think so. I don't think you need all of the birds. You probably need a bunch of them, but I know they, you know, obviously they're involved in the ending. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'll look in there, Dolphit. We'll grab this. I mean, that's... I'm actually thinking that might be the case, too, because we looked everywhere else. So we'll check one more time. Like I said, not a big deal if we leave them out. I mean, all we have to do is come back and grab them one more time. It'll still save the other ones that we got. Alright, so this has to be a straight shot. Nope. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? That's... Fuck that piece. We gotta go get life. Wait, what? Alright, whatever. Same thing. I guess that's faster. Of course, I have to probably hit the switch again. Ah, we'll try this one more time, guys. We're about ready to get out of here. I appreciate the comment, Dolphit. Great to have you in the community. Epic comment, Dolphin. Thank you very much. Definitely noticing you being a pretty awesome member of the community, and you know that is very much appreciated. Avian. What's up, Avian? About to head out of this level, guys. Let's fucking get out of here. Damn desert level. I always hate the desert levels. They always gotta be the worst ones. No! Really? Yeah, I'd say... Ah. I'd say this is my least liked level. This this level sucks, the big one. It's official. Poorly uh, created level, unfortunately. It happens. Alright. Thank you, game, for this one. Really? Thank gosh. For fuck's sake. Alright, we'll take it. We needed that one badly. Alright guys, so quick flyby. We'll get out of here. You're thinking that maybe in that pyramid the last one could be? I mean, we're getting a pretty good view of everything now. I'm not seeing it. Alright, Kasabian. I never heard of that one. What is it? Uh, Cold Winter. Huh. You guys seen him anywhere? Not seen him, but I'm thinking you guys might be right. You were saying you... Th oh, what do we have to open up the door again? No! Alright. They can't leave the door open for us. We gotta open it one more time.
Another reason why this is the worst level in the game. Fuck this level. It's official. <laughs> Every other level's like, hell yeah, this is the one level. It's like, fuck this one. Yeah, yeah, I remember from the last time I did it. You only have to do one? Come on. Okay, one for each nose. Alright, so we'll check real quick. Hopefully it's in here. State of Decay? No, I never played that one. Alright, I'm thinking that it would be backwards if it's in here. Yeah, see? Because there's a carpet right there above us. That's probably where it is. You guys are probably exactly right. Of course. Oh, fell down. Thanks for the heads up, guys. I had a feeling it was in there. We can say good riddance to this place. The last jigsaw piece in the desert, guys. We did it. Fuck yeah. Shout out to Avian Haley saying junk food time. Huge shout out to legendary Mike. Yeah, and I hope you guys are enjoying the live stream. Let's move on. Now the live stream's about to get extra epic. All of us in here right now. Definitely about to get really sick. Oh no, sorry, I was fixing something on the computer, guys. Not, <laughs> not looking where I was going. Alright, nice, guys. Very nice. This was easy to get across. Kill these mummies? Nah, you can just hit them down. Yeah, guys, so we're about to enter the, the haunted mansion level. You guys ready for that? Gonna be sick. Bad monster mansion. So there's Gobi's Desert. Uh, hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back.
Help me guys, sorry about that. Alright. I'm back guys, how you doing in the chat? Good luck, Duke King. Good luck. Thanks again for hanging out with us. Who needs sleep? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. The you guys are saying the the um the puzzle plot the puzzle piece in this thing here. one thing on the mic there and now we're good All right. so I think we have to fly to get that then I put it just out of reach go down maybe trippy Deadpool what's up Deadpool I don't think we have to go up here getting a little bit lost here in the hub world so how you guys doing? Monday. Pretty epic way to finish off the Monday. Hope all you guys are doing well this week. Simply Trippy. Who's Simply Trippy? Never seen you before. Appreciate the love though. Uh, <laughs> darn it guys. I'm trying to figure out where to go here. Sorry. I guess we're going up then. See, I don't get it then. We're missing something. Right? How do we get this, guys? Darn it! It's gotta be back here, right? That's, I mean, this is what I'm not getting. This is confusing me right now. Man, that's not even supposed to be how you do that. What do you have to say? Oh, Shane Moto. Changed it from Shane Moto to Simply Trippy. I got you, Shane. I like that. That sounds cool. And once again, you know, huge, huge shout out to everybody joining up after the live stream. Once again, forgive me for uh, being lost here for a moment. So I guess we need to break these open somehow. That's what I'm thinking, guys. Oh, look at that. That's how you do it, seriously? Eggs? Freaking eggs? Oh my gosh. Wow. Are you gonna die already? I thought it was gonna be something better than that. Alright, so cool. I've solved the puzzle. Take it that gets us inside the pot there. Damid27. What's happening? What's up, guys? Thanks again for hanging out with me for the playthrough. We still have a bunch more to do. I hope you guys can hang out for the playthrough as long as possible. Where does this lead? Oh, nice. We'll take it. Alright. Not too bad, guys. That was easy enough. Probably have another one that we're going to get, too. Two quick jiggies. Kasabian. So you like red hot chili peppers. Absolutely. 
who I think everybody has to like the chili peppers. I mean, if you don't like the chili peppers, then uh, yeah, you might want to check your pulse. Ah, uh, so that's what we were missing, guys. Remember, we couldn't. <laughs> uh, I couldn't think of how we were supposed to get over there. We were supposed to break these things. I hit those with one. I just didn't hit them with two. All right, so this is how we get that. What? Too much. Gonna get the jiggy. Got it. Oh, hell yeah, guys. Now we can move on. Yeah. <laughs> Cosplay is no different than football fans wearing face face paint or people wearing silly dresses and funny hats at church. <coughs> Bless me. Uh, it's a little bit different, but personally, I like the cosplay that involves, you know, females dressing up as the, you know, the sexy, famous female video game characters such as Laura, you know, Laura Croft, something like that. All right, so where are we going in here, guys? Oh yeah, we can get this now. All right, because we got the shoe upgrade. Screw you, snowman. All right, so up here is that pair of white sneakers that should lead us to, I'm not sure if it leads us to a jiggy. It might actually lead us to how we get into Mad Monster Mansion because we still, it's not like we opened that up yet. So we're still missing something. It might be up here. We'll see. This is one of those games that the first time you beat it, it's it's going to take, you know, a little bit to figure it out yourself. If, unless you're going to look at a, you know, maybe like a, um, a guide or something. But I have 100% of the game. I think I beat the game once and then 100%ed it the other time I beat it. Oh no! Really? So because of that, I should be in at least decent shape to where we can beat it. Pretty much without looking at any guides or anything. But we'll see. We're going to find out tonight. By the way guys, it's 1am here. It just turned 1am not too long ago. Still early, right? It's not too bad. The cosplay of Harley Quinn. Yeah, you're right. That's I mean, especially with the last Harley Quinn. Are you kidding me? Come on, stand on the platform. Go! Go! Oh, what? Come on, Banjo-Kazooie, you're making it. Like, that's way too, way too close. 304 for SNI. Gotta do this again. Not sure why the game needs to make it like that. Me luck, guys. Ah, that's the problem, that fall right there. See, they're expecting you to compensate for a bad camera. Dang you. Ah. 
At least it's only on the second level here. That's not too bad at that part. All right, so I'm gonna have to just compensate much better here. You pretty much have to go through that tunnel without hitting the wall. It's kind of silly. Yeah, I pretty much fucked it up already. Let's see, might be close enough. Go, you fucking bird. I don't get it. Why does it... Uh. Watchdogs? What about... Oh, there's... I haven't seen Clara Lily from Watchdogs. Yeah, there's a lot of hot chicks in video games. No doubt about that. Dang you. And then, of course, to make matters worse, there's a snowman right here. Alright, so I don't know what I'm missing in here. It's it's a little bit weird, like... I don't know. I feel like we're not going fast enough for some reason. Anything up here? No. Alright, we'll try it again. Can I at least change up the camera angle? No. Really, camera? Oh my god, that's fucking annoying, dude. Like, seriously, what is... I don't know, guys. This is being a bastard, big time. I think I remember this one being a pain in the ass, too. Like, it's so unnecessary. Like, why are they... Why is it... Why do they make it that close? What's up with that? Shout out to you guys in the chat, though. Reading your comments in the chat. Helping me get through the frustration of whatever the hell challenge they're having us do this time. Easily. Man, that's back-to-back -back shite challenges here with the Gobi Desert. Not really holding up. Holding up the best, I'd say. And then whatever the hell they're doing, having us do it here is stupid as fuck. Ten seconds. Jeez! For fuck's sake, dude! That's stupid. Oh my gosh. Fuck that. What What was that about, guys? Alright, this better give us a damn good secret. It's gotta be this. Oh, that's right, because we gotta fly through this without falling down. There's a thing on the top, which is the jiggy. Wow. Probably the hardest jiggy in the damn game right here, guys. Fuck that one. Thank goodness. At least we're done with it. Damn it, and the snowman still pegs us. Fuck you, snowman. Grab this life. Alright, difficulty's definitely cranking up, as you guys can tell. I mean, every time they give us life, they put bees in it now. Let's head on up. Appreciate the support in the chat. You guys are like, damn, that was, that's just weird. Why are they making it that hard? I just don't get that. That's a little bit annoying, but what can you do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
what's in here. What is this place? Okay, some red feathers. Let's go in here. Uh, this is Rusty Bucket Bay. I think. My belly's big, it's rather neat. Where does this lead to? Water's awfully dark in here, guys. Nice, send me a picture. All right. I think this is how you open Mad Monster Mansion right here. Oh yeah. Get into the epic stuff now, guys. Finally. Mad Monster Mansion. Let's unlock it and do it up. Check it out, guys. This is gonna be sick. It's 1.15 at night here. Perfect time for some Mad Monster Mansion. There it is. You know when Leicester says, what do you do and record it against the judgment? Yeah, maybe. All right, so now that that's open. Oh, there's another one in there? Might be another one we have to jump to. Clara Lily, I'll check her out, Grim. Here, guys, might have another platform. Hopefully, something good. What is it? Oh, one of those things. Some kind of swinging tree. Alright, so I think we're good here. Don't really have to come back. We've done our duty. Appreciate that, Simply Trippy. V Dog, what's happening? What's going on, guys? Shout out to everybody here in the live stream. And huge shout out to everybody here afterwards. It's about to go down the Mad Monster Mansion. So, is there anything even here at all? Where are we? Okay. Yeah, I think up there is where the uh, Rusty Bucket Bay is. That's going to be a tough level, guys. Shout out to Mysterious Animator X. Oh, dang it. Fucked us up there. Alright, but I think we could still go up here. Let's see if there's anything else we can get to. I think this is actually getting close to the end of the, the hub world. Because we already went to the... The... Oh, how do you open this? Let's unlock this. We already went to where you unlock Click Clock Wood. Live stream for Watch Dogs? Yeah, maybe in the future. What's on the hat? Blue eggs? We don't really need those. Tadpoles on toast for breakfast. Yummy. Is there anything up here? Aha. On the hat? 
Alright, let's head back down. Mad Monster Mansion, guys. Here we go. It's through the door. Shout out to all you guys. Oh, man. Never remind us of Gobi Desert again. Fuck that place. And I believe this takes us to the graveyard. Oh, this is so epic, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Let's do it. So is that the entrance to it right there? Why is the camera so like, I don't understand why it always points down. Can't even read the sign. The camera they should have upgraded a little bit in this game. Too down, it, it just points down too much to the point of like you can't even see the signs. Like, look at that, barely can see it in there. All right, but that said, guys, this level is going to be extremely epic, guys. Shout out to Trippy Reaper. Yeah, I don't, when it comes to live streams, I like to do games where I've played before, but you know, if it's a, if it's a good enough game, then I'm definitely down to play a live Reaper for sure. Sabian fan, trippy Deadpool, like in the new the new name there, Deadpool. Simply trippy, all you guys. Hold on one second, just gonna grab something out of the fridge real fast, guys. Alright guys, let's do this. You ready? Don't ah oh, don't tell me it froze. No, it's just I'm not moving. Alright. Thanks again for joining up guys. Let's head into Mad Monster Mansion. Here we are. So basically, this is exactly how it sounds, guys. Just a huge mansion. Unlike the last level we played, Gobi's Desert, this one is really well made, you know? A lot of rooms, mazes, good enemy placement. Everything I feel like is just really well done in this one. Here we have a bush maze. Now I will say, for as much as I love this level, this is one of my two favorite levels in the game, guys. 
you know, it's not totally easy because you can see all the collectibles are spread apart. Get away from us, ghost. But the the remake of this game definitely does a lot to fix it. Damn, what's up with this ghost? He took us out with the quickness. Appreciate the heads up, Trippy Reaper. Like I said, guys, definitely let me know what games you think are trippified because we're gonna I'm gonna make a whole nother playlist. For those of you watching live, I'm gonna be updating the, the main page of the channel to make it easier for you guys. And one of the main playlists is gonna be this trippy old school playlist. And we really wanna, you know, we wanna make that grow. This is really going to be, you know, these playlists are also going to be a time for us, you know, true members of the community to kind of come together and chill. I think you guys, you know, I should say, you know, I haven't really uh, dropped a ton of comments, but definitely drop your funny comments. You guys know I'm re I have the chat right in front of me. I read as many as I can, especially a playthrough like this where it's a little bit more laid back. There's certainly some intense moments in this game that make it tough, but... For the most part, you know, definitely drop your comments. I'll try to read as many as possible, especially when it comes to the games. Nice. Perfect. Onto the roof. Excellent. Oh, wait. Will the thorns hurt us? Oh, never mind. Maybe there's like another pair of shoes or something. You got some bees over there. This level's pretty awesome, though, isn't it, guys? You could already tell, and we haven't even made it over to the mansion or anything. Oh, darn it. Where's the mods? We got Blood Dragon. Silently watching the stream. Go down here. All right, here we go. Into the water. Yeah, this game's awesome, guys. I mean, once again, those of you you probably already know, but you know, Grand Theft Auto Five. I'm constantly trying to make sure I, you know, I, I show off the best stuff for you guys, do it in a really cool way. But in this kind of game, you know, obviously I want to beat it for myself, so I'm having a good time. Ah. Uh, that said, I'm forced to play a shitty swimming physics part right there. Alright, only one life here, so I'm gonna have to... Alright, we'll have to turn it on here from this point on. I got this, guys. I got my second wind. I'm gonna crush the mod... the mad monster mansion. Alright, these guys. I don't get these guys either, though. See, they're fast. And... There's no way to stop them. So I don't really... It's kind of weird. Like, right now, what do I do? Okay, just wait for him to move. See, well, look at that. They run after you, and you're fucked at that point. Jeez. Damn, way to crank up the difficulty, Banjo-Kazooie. Like... Fuck you. Alright. Turn on invincibility, I guess, is what you have to do there. SM Studios, what's happening, SM? Definitely do me a huge favor and hit the like button, guys, if you have not already. Much appreciated. <laughs> Trippy Blood Dragon. You are a legend. Damn the bees! Not the bees! So th that's where... That's probably where that came from, you know. Not Nicolas Cage or whatever came from this game. No, not the bees. 
Not the ghost. Okay, fuck you, ghost. Seriously. Exit. Unless, can we open up this gate, maybe? I think from the other side or something. Yeah, that's the dead end. Oh man, tough guys. Notice how we're not seeing too many music notes either. Ah, here we are at the mansion. Okay, this is the front. How do you get it to open? There is a transformation in this level, which is arguably the best transformation in the game. There's some more music notes. So what do you think about the game, guys? Think it's trippy? Resident Evil 3 Nemesis as soon as you can. <laughs> you like that one? I mean, we're obviously working on Resident Evil 1 right now. I was planning on doing Resident Evil 4 next, and then probably Resident Evil 7 after that. But I would be down for Nemesis. Honestly, I haven't beat Nemesis, though, so that's kind of an issue, you know? Once again, I like to play the games I've beaten, but... You know, Nemesis, I'm guessing, is well worthy. Especially because we want to completely take out the Resident Evil series. You know, that's important. Get away from me, Skeleton Beast. skeletons everywhere all right so we're back over here let's go ahead and do this one fuck it this is gonna probably be the hardest one in the level guys or wait oh you're supposed to come here Oh, you can get this one with the pumpkin. Okay, I don't like this at all. Jeez. Yeah, guys, I think you can get this with the pumpkin or banjo. I'm wondering... Like, if it's almost better to... Because this is so tough, it's almost better to straight up wait and get the pumpkin for it, guys. I mean, yeah. It is, dude. This is suicide without the pump. Because look at the pumpkin can go all around those. I mean, this we could get. That's easy enough. But yeah, I'm going to wait to get those music notes with the pumpkin for sure. Which, yeah, spoilers, I said pumpkin. That's that's the transformation. Was, I didn't really want to spoil it for you guys, but yeah, it's pretty epic. We'll be turning into a pumpkin. Why is this here? It's kind of random. Slowly getting the music notes. Ha! What's this guy doing here? Is there anything actually down here to get, though? 
Oh, you know what we have to do? I think we have to bring this over to the, uh, the thorns. Ah, uh, if we could open up that thing, maybe. Ah, oh, what? This game is pretty hard, guys. Pretty difficult, I gotta say. Stay away. doesn't make sense. I was thinking maybe go up there on those thorns, but even that really doesn't really make too much sense. Hmm. Bit of a maze this level is. So we can't get through here yet? Oh wait, yeah we can. Or maybe not. Oh, nice! We got that jackass. How are we supposed to get that guy? I hear you. Nice. Alright, sweet. You are forgetting stuff, says Dolphin. What am I forgetting, Dolphin? One thing I need, though, is life. Definitely need some of that. Let's head up here. Okay, we got something there. Interesting. I believe there was some uh, health somewhere around here. There we go. It's gonna be so hard to find everything in this one. See where this door takes us, guys, or this, uh, this whatever it is button. Where's that at? Somewhere around here. This doesn't look right. No. Yeah. Okay, we should probably find out where that is first. I think it's in the maze, isn't it? To save me, what's my favorite classic GTA? I mean, if you go classic, you gotta go with with Vice City. I mean, unless if San Andreas counts, then I go San Andreas. It's tough. Okay, this guy clearly wants some eggs. enough. He doesn't want eggs. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, we got it. You. Dang it. It's a pretty funny noise they make when they tie there. There you go. Some flowers for you. Ah, 
I don't know. Vice City, love San Andreas, I know. They're both good though, San Andreas was just so massive. That's gonna be a crazy playthrough, guys, but Vice City is certainly pretty high on the list. They're both great. I like how you have to purchase properties. You know, I really miss that component to GTA, and it's something that they, they just forgot about for no reason. Why have they taken that out of the game? for all the new versions. I mean, yeah, they have property you can buy, but nobody really cares about them at all. They're more annoying than anything. There we go. Yes. My name is Jeff. What's up? Open up all these doors. Okay, so here's that one. How do you get... We got Mumbo in there. It's weird. I'm not sure how to get to him, though. We gotta figure that out. We can climb up to the top here. Nice. Let's see what's going on here in the mansion. It is the Mad Monster Mansion, after all. Get up there. Shout out to All Time Digital. What's happening, All Time Digital? What's going on, guys? Hope you can see how this level is so epic. I mean, I really like it. Really cool design. Also some really cool interiors that we're going to get to. No! thing about this place is guys you see the windows you can actually bust them open and go in which is pretty tough to you know to learn I guess because you're not used to that in video games and ooh, what do we have here Oh, we need the pumpkin, though? Are you serious? Alright. Unless... Yeah, because Banjo can't crawl. No, we don't want to do that. Alright. Gotta come back with the pumpkin. I think the thing is, in this level, you have to actually break those open with Banjo first. like there was much of anything in here at all. Yeah, just some eggs, that's it. Really? See, as a kid, I could not figure that out, guys. I was wondering where I was missing everything, and then finally I figured out that you can actually break open the windows. I was like, what the hell? Really? Uh, 
Ah, this picture apparently doesn't have a monster in it. Yeah, I guess you really don't have to come into these rooms, though. But yeah, this level is really the first one that kind of trains you to do it. Get to the pumpkin. Yeah, we need the pumpkin for sure. Good comment, S and I. Get to the pumpkin. Do we have to go this way? We need to go in there, guys. Yeah, let's do that one. I think. Is this the right way? Yeah. Through. No. Hmm. We're going to have to cut through the other way. I'm trying to think of how we can get into that building there. I think I got it. Ah, oh, there's some music pieces. Nope. Okay, so I think it's this way, right? There it is. Of course, typical Banjo-Kazooie fashion. You have to be absolutely perfect. Let's see if we can get on the roof. Forty-five at night here for me, guys. It's pretty creepy. Mad Monster Mansion. Very scary. I do have all the lights off in my place, so... Haunted. Chances of ghosts being here. I hope not. I wouldn't doubt it, though. Right, so we have to come up here. What the hell are they having us do here? You know there's going to be something hidden over here. Yep. Oh, a whole entrance? What? Damn, this game is hard, man. They, they really make some really well-hidden stuff here. Like, you have to know to completely hug the sides there with Kazooie to find these four hidden pieces. That's crazy. Plus, there might be more. Let's see what's up here. Oh, of course! Wow, and there's even a whole jigsaw up there. Damn, that's a tough one. Alright, so that's the third one. Ah! That's how you're supposed to get to the fucking mumbo. You see that, guys? You see how they trick you right there? That's how, you, how you're supposed to get there. Well, at least we got that one to kind of show us. Is there anything else back here? No, I guess not. Unless there's something special with this one glass. Aha! Because it's got Banjo and Kazoo. What? Another one! That's hard. Damn, guys. This is tough stuff. At least we figured it out. I remember on this level, like, having a hard time finding all the puzzle pieces. I was like, what the hell? Where am I missing it? And now I'm, I'm figuring it out how. But then again, there's really nothing in here. So I guess... Some of these places, there's really not a point to coming in, I guess. Yeah. Oh well. At least we found it. Away from me, bat. But yeah, so right here, 
you're, if your camera, I guess, is not angled correctly, you won't see that that's how you're supposed to go. But basically, yeah, see, because before I was coming here, but really, that's the entrance. Just go that way. That's easy enough. That said, I don't want to go in there just yet, because I want to search upstairs and make sure we broke all the glass. Once again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as we play Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, we forgot a glass right here. We gotta get all these before we become the pumpkin. A lot of people in here. Thank you guys. Appreciate you chilling. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Sorry I'm not, I'm not commenting, you know, probably as much as I normally do. Just because I'm focusing so much. Ah, uh, the infamous toilet. What do we just get? Special. Oh, really? Another one? Huh. Away from us, you stupid Skeletor. Alright, guys, let's head out. You can see this tunnel right there. Clearly that looks like a pumpkin tunnel, I'm guessing. Maybe not. Maybe it's just bushes. Could be wrong there. It's tough to tell with the pumpkin sometimes. Alright, we still need to head to the top floor. Trippy Blood Dragon. Damn, I ate too much. Ah, here's another one for sure. Let's see what's in here. notes. Alright, we're almost at 50 there. That's good to know. We're actually doing pretty well if you think about it, guys. We still need to get into that one building, though, don't we? Giant ghost. I hate their laugh. Whoa, chest? How do we get in the chest? Two more of those guys already. Dang, guys. That's weird. Must be something I'm missing. Appreciate the donation, Saturday Night Insanity. Much love. Thank you very much. Playing Banjo-Kazooie with a bunch of my buddies. Getting a donation from s and I. Hey, not too bad right there. Thank you so much. Oh, no. s and I, I'm going to hit you up on Twitter when, um, when I do the, um, Whoa. When I do the color guide coming up, this is probably, I'm guessing like on Thursday I want to do it. Thursday or Wednesday, but yeah, I'm going to hit you up about the color that you wanted to make it. I'm going to try to just contact everybody, see if they know. And some people maybe like, you know, maybe they don't know a color that they like offhand, and I could kind of tell them one, and then if they like it, then they can kind of like dub it their own. But yeah, I'll reach you guys. I'll reach out to you guys on Twitter if you guys are interested in the uh, trippy paint job guy that we're making. That's gonna be pretty cool. All right, we need to kill this bat. He's in our way. Damn you, bat! Hold still. Oh, for fuck's sake! I'm going to murder you.
Get back. We need it. Kill the ghost to open the chest. Oh! Good call, good call. You're right, I gotta remember. I gotta remember that. I gotta remember. Alright. We'll do that here in a second. Alright. Tippy toe, banjo. Oh, we got another one of those bird guys up here, too. Sweet. Only one more of them to get. Damn, we are destroying this level, other than, you know, the few deaths that I had. No! And we haven't even became the uh, pumpkin yet. We'll become the legendary pumpkin head. Dolphin, definitely make sure to reach out to me. And what you're going to want to do... About the color guide is just you know make sure you have a name you know obviously you can name it whatever you want obviously try to make sure it's something cool because it's gonna be in the guide so we want people to like look up the you know see the color and then they're like oh what's this one called and, you know it'll be something that you of course dubbed it this one. Oh, I look... Okay, so apparently... Nice. I should be using Kazooie for this part. That's why. Banjo fell off way too easy. Alright, so let's get this one. Let's see if you guys are right. Come over here, you ghost fucker. No. Apparently not, guys. How do we open the chest? I don't know. Maybe the pumpkin has something to do with it, guys. I mean, we're probably going to have to find out. Unless, I mean, I don't see a switch in here. Yeah, I think we have to do it somewhere else. Maybe the other side. Maybe the chimney. Ah, this fucking guy. I don't quite remember what to do here. Use invincibility. What? What just happened? Nice, it worked. Sick. Good job, guys. I don't. Was that supposed? Is that how you're supposed to do it right there? I don't know. That felt kind of weird, but. It worked. We'll take it. Saturday Night Insanity saying there's a chest in this game that still has not been unlocked to this game to this day. That could have something to do with the mystery that I was telling you guys about. Remember I was saying, you know, this was the game that got me into the mystery. Oh, we could fly here. Nice. I don't think it was that chest though, was it? Take it. Is that the only reason to fly around here? I'm guessing there's got to be a way to open that up, guys. Get up.
I don't know. You see anything else in this room, guys? Looks pretty empty to me. You could already tell this level's got so many, like, really hard to find secrets, so you really gotta be careful and figure it out. How do you. There we go. Okay, we still have to go in the cathedral. No. Oh. Fell on down. So do you all do all women hit you moods at the same time now? Is that how oh jeez. Dolphin, what are you talking about? Alright. No! Really? Alright, there was just that one other window on the other side that we gotta go to, guys. Side. Musical notes. Die. You gotta say, this game is definitely trippy, for sure. Officially trippified. Alright, so we're up to seven no 70 notes. So no switch to open up that chest, guys. Ah. Stupid candle. The painful gan candle. It's gonna kill us. Alright. So we got everything up there on the roof now. Let's head inside that other cathedral there. Gotta be quick. Go, go, go. Five, four, three. No! Ah! Fucking hit the corner. Jeez. That's. I would say that if I did have to review this game, you know, like looking back on it now, like. If I basically looked at everything, I would definitely dock it some points for, you know, just, that's, there's too many challenges in this game where you aren't given that extra second, you know, just one extra second or two would have made it a little bit more fair, because, I don't know, I just imagine that the casual gamer is really going to have a hard time with it. Barely. I mean, that's almost flawless right there. Maybe like a second off of flawless. Alright, what do we have here? Definitely some music notes in here. Stay away. Not many. One per see here it looks like he's and we're out of these we're out of the yellow uh, feathers golden feathers try jumping while running yeah you're right it did make me go a little bit faster I used it to get over some grass there that when the uh, the actual attempt where we did it Let's get the four musical notes. 
mean, we're close though, guys. You know there's no some notes on the organ as well. In fact, yeah, there's a bunch, guys. We're going to be pretty close to all of them. I got to say, you know, you got to admit, guys, we're doing really well on this level. I think I died right off the bat, but other than that, we've been doing pretty good. Keep away from us bees. Alright, let's head up. Definitely going to be heading to a Jiggy here for sure. No! This mission reminds me of a game called, oh fuck, what was the game? I think it was called Vex. I, probably none of you guys played it. It was like a random platformer. It did have a mission like this. Alright. To the top of the organ. Okay, so there is no Jiggy up here? That's surprising. Get the music note, Banjo. It is pretty genius if you think about it. A bear with a bird, like, jetpack thing. <laughs> More genius than maybe we know. hand has to do something, right? Mozart plays his organ with ease. Alright, Mozart, what do you got? pretty easy. Shout out to my name is Jeff. Dr. Mantis. What's happening Dr. Mantis? Appreciate you stopping by the Banjo-Kazooie playthrough. Once again guys. Oh man. Okay let's just keep going. Let me know if there's any nostalgic games that you want us to play you know for the channel. That's really what this is all about, too. You know, we, we're going to have our GTA 5 live streams, which are, you know, pretty insane. But I also want to have these, like, chill, nostalgic live streams. So let me know whatever game, you know, is most nostalgic to you. We did it. Give us our jigsaw piece. Our puzzle piece. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Mantis said, I love how all the keys make the same note. That's hilarious. Good observation, Dr. Mantis. Just turned 2 a.m. for me, guys. Definitely appreciate you guys helping me out with the observation said <laughs> Late night. Not going to be as fast as usual. From us, Skeletor. Ooh, a one up. Sweet. Thinking that the last thing was maybe in here, but I don't hear him. LA Noir says Trippy Reaper. Alright. Yeah, that's a good call. I have LA Noir 
That is a good call. We, we will have to do that one. Trippy Blood Dragon. That piano sucks. It only plays one note. It's an organ, guys. It's an organ. Close enough, though. It's down here. Let's get out of here, where the bees kill us. Not the bees, not the bees. Yeah, and that's everything in here, guys. Successful trip inside the cathedral. M. Gamble, great comment, saying R.I.P. Don Rickles. I'll be honest, guys, you know, Don Rickles, for being a legendary comedian, I just don't remember him too much, I didn't didn't watch too many movies with him but there was one character that Don Rickles played that you know it sounds weird but it really does break my heart when I hear that he's dead and that is Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story Don Rickles played Mr. Potato Head he was amazing and yeah I'm gonna miss him for that that's my Don Rickles memory Rest in peace. One feather up there, really. Here we go, guys. We are transforming into the mythical pumpkin. We did it. Daniel Sky. <laughs> I love Banjo Kazooie. Are you kidding me? This game is amazing. I just turned into a pumpkin. Officially trippy. So let's find all the secrets as the pumpkin. I gotta remember where they are. This is the best part of the level, by the way, guys. Trying to figure out where all this stuff is as the pumpkin. Of course, the pumpkin has no attacks whatsoever, so... Come on, camera, seriously. I will say the camera shit. Oh, no! Alright. We need to... Turn back, actually, real quick. I missed one door, but it, luckily it was right there, so we'll just get it and come back. <laughs> A pumpkin. That's pretty well hidden, uh, Mumbo Jumbo or whatever his name is. I like how it's like simplistic. Uh, fuck you, Bat. You're getting out of here. Yeah, here's the door we forgot, guys. Need to come back. Here's the pumpkin. Oh, the last dude's in here. Sick. No, 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 no! Fuck! Fuck you. Nice. Okay, so we got this. Man, we need more golden feathers. Get out of here. We can't let this guy kill us. It's crucial. I hate these ghosts. all these. Hopefully one will have a feather in it. That would be convenient. Aha! There we go. 
Only way you can kill him, I guess. Oh, nice! Damn, that's easy enough. Two in the basement. <laughs> nice. Maybe, maybe uh, one. I should change my name to Tricky Trippy Doctor Mantis Toboggan MD. <laughs> that would be epic. So I believe one of those we need the pumpkin for. So now we're good. Sweet guys, we're destroying this level with the quickness. We're almost ready to head to the next level, believe it or not. We're actually, we're going to probably be able to beat the game. I mean, knock on wood, we'll see. I'm really hoping so, but yeah, we only have a couple more levels. Granted, they're tough levels. I think, I really think I can destroy Rusty Bucket Bay too, which is hard. That's a really hard level, but I think we can do it. Click Lock Wood, on the other hand. Oh, man. That's going to be trouble. Okay, what's down here? Oh, here it is. Another one of these secrets. Not sure if they even do anything. Yeah, so that's those are the big mystery things. Oh, so the only thing you need to come down here for is that thing. All right, I will say it's well hidden, but all right. Trippy banjo says Kasabian. Looks like a hole right there. Moving on. Get up. Okay, so we got to jump in some of these. I forget which ones we need to go into. Luckily, we killed everybody. That's a cool thing in this game, how all the villains stay dead. Much needed. So I think this is another door right here. Let's go in here. Pumpkin exclusive location. Oh, this is easy enough. Sweet. Music notes. Oh, we have to come from the top. Never mind. Let's see if anything's in here. Skeleton creature. Let us in your painting. Yeah, nothing in here. Shout out to that one dude C. What's up, that one dude C? Appreciate the comment. Say no green of time. That game is hard. I could I could completely destroy Ocarina of Time, man. I love that game. It's one of my all-time favorites. That would not be a challenge for me. I would love to do it. The only problem is... Oh, we need to... Oh, we can't head out because I need all this glass to stay open. Um, the only problem is... That... I, I have it on the Wii. You know, I have a special disc that I got for the Wii that has the Ocarina of Time on there. But, unfortunately, my uh, HD capture isn't playing my Wii right now. Like, it'll go on my TV, but it won't, if I plug my HD capture device into the Wii and then into the TV, it won't work. So, yeah, kind of annoying, guys. That sucks. I have to figure out a way to play games like Ocarina of Time. Not the bees. Alright. 
Oh, we're back over here? Maybe we have to go in here with the pumpkin? Didn't seem like there was any reason to come in here at all. Yep. No reason. Perfect Dark says Merciful... Uh, Mercer the Merciful. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely play that one. Absolutely. That is definitely one we are going to take over. Isn't that going to be a trippy one? That's That was one that was uh, certainly going to be a, kind of a surprise. But, yeah. I think that's going to be a trippy, trippy live stream playthrough for sure. Okay, we need to get in there. can go inside this swamp stuff, no problem. Definitely needed that, so... Yeah, we could have swam in... Or, we could have gotten the uh, jigsaw using the pumpkin, too. But we definitely have to get the music pieces. Damn, we're almost at 100 already? Good. I think we got everything here, didn't we? Yeah, we're done with this little area. Gotta love the pumpkin, right guys? Shout out to Twigginator, play Manhunt 2. I had Manhunt 2, I, I don't know, I didn't think it was that great. It's good though, might be down. I don't have it right now though, so I'd have to get it somehow. How do we get to the top? Completely lost here, guys, because I remember we have to get to the top and then walk over. So how do we get to the top? Stay away from us. Here? Oh, okay. I guess I could just stay up here then. Kind of blend it in? Or is this not it? Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, we can't hug. James Headley, what's happening, James? Fix something on my computer. Oh well. How do we get up there? Stanley, folks, what's happening? Scorpion, appreciate the like, Scorpion. See if we can find this, guys. What the hell? Alright, 
Got to be something we missed in the maze. So we killed all the ghosts at least. Shout out to Rat Rasta Boy. What the hell, Rasta Boy? Shout out to anybody who's new in the live stream. Definitely hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. And we do have another live stream coming up tomorrow. We actually have daily live streams. So yeah, guys. There. It's weird, guys. I'm having a hard time getting to the second floor of the mansion. Where do we go? Damn, wish some of you guys played Banjo Kazooie. Shout out to Stoner249, what's happening? Being trippy, Chris Concialves? <laughs> Let's go in here, maybe? I mean, we've looked everywhere. I don't think there was really anything in here, though. Fireplace, nothing there, though. Move faster, pumpkin. Is there a secret tunnel through here, maybe? Is that what that is? No, that's just a bush. Yeah. Does that end? So we need to make it to the top of these things here somehow. That's what I remember what we have to do. Aha! Are you kidding me? Holy shnikes, guys! That's so hard to find! Fuck! Damn, this game is tough. Like, barely can see the hole there. But yeah, that's how you do it right there, guys. And this should pretty much get us the rest of the stuff we need in this level. So it's pretty hard. Uh -huh. so this is to get in here. Jigsaw piece number eight. have to remember where it was. Damn. Can't believe they hit it like that, man. So you have to come through here. Just so happen to take a left. Bear, like... Okay, so if you're coming through this way, you're not going to really see it. Wow. Really, game? That's... That's, like, almost too well hidden. 
I can barely see that. It's fucked up. Uh, when was this game released? 1998. Kasabian fan, 1998. The glorious year that it was. Definitely need that. Much needed. We have one of the most notorious puzzle pieces in the game coming up, guys. So for everybody here watching, of course, whether in the live stream or afterwards, you're about to see one of the craziest pieces ever. Here we are. As you can see, we have a toilet here, right? Well, what if I told you that we can go in the toilet? You heard me right, guys. We are going into the toilet. Time to get flushed. It is time for trippy adventures into the toilet. Watch as we journey through the pipe into the poop mound and we find the lost jigsaw that who knows who pooped it out man almost dead gotta be really careful here i can't believe you went in there now wash your hands you filthy bear Yeah, because Sabian saying the graphics are actually really tank for that time. I know, that's what I was saying. Someone was saying earlier, like, they didn't like the graphics. But I was like, what? I think they're not bad. It's just the textures that are bad. But, you know, I, I understand. I probably definitely have the nostalgia goggles blinding me a little bit. Tightrope walk over. Alright, we gotta jump here. Nice. Okay, so I believe we can get in there somehow. Jeez. Oh no. Fucking bees. Jump. Jeez, this is tough. You gotta go pretty far here. Oh. Oh, wait. What? So you don't even have to go this way? Dang it. Yeah, I wonder how to open up that treasure chest that we found, guys. That was kind of crazy. Nothing's here either. It's disappointing. treasure chest doesn't look like anything's on this side either all right I think we're um, I think we're okay we're gonna head out and go get the jigsaw that's out here the puzzle piece Oh, man. Run. Run, pumpkin, run. 
No, it's not for the PlayStation, Danny Otis. You can only get it on the Xbox One. <laughs> My name is Jeff. Alright, gotta be careful here. No! Son of a... Luckily, at least you still get to be the pumpkin. Shut up. Nice. We made it. Onward. I think this might be one of the books. Yep. Is there anything good, though? It's probably the red feather. Yep, red feathers. How'd I know? Golden Eye would be cool. That's another one that's kind of tough to get my hands on. But Perfect Dark is the spiritual successor to Golden Eye. Jump, pumpkin! No! What? You lose a whole life? Oh, Shizen, I didn't know that. Oh well. So, we know where the last piece is in here, by the way, guys. We know where the last piece and the musical notes are. I just don't... I'm trying to remember how to open it. Right? Yeah, I know exactly where it is, guys. Oh, now this stuff's closed again, really? Alright, so we're probably going to have to turn back. But, yeah, I know how to complete this level. Just gotta get in there. How are we supposed to get in there? Don't tell me they locked us out. Oh, okay, there you go. Soldier hour. Hell yeah. Definitely like James Bond Kasabian. Unfortunately, it seems like James Bond has kind of fallen off a little bit here, but yeah. Hopefully they can bring him back. Alright guys, so... You have to open it from the other side, darn it. Stay away from me. Still a dead end. Alright. 
So the final four music notes and jigsaw piece is all in this hut over here. How do you get in? Just open the door? Oh, okay, of course. Kasabian, not really. I liked, uh, I thought Kasabian asking about the Daniel Craig era of um, James Bond movies. Um. I really liked Casino Royale. I thought that was one of the best Bond movies, but all the ones after that I found pretty disappointing. Right, we got the Ouija board. Oh man, guy hits you off. Guessing this is probably going to be another close call. Let me, you know what? I'm just going to leave and come back. to do this one. Oh, and then we'll be good. Joe's surfing. Alright, the final puzzle piece in this level, guys. Fucking did it. What's up, Roz? Let's bounce. Conquered Mad Monkey or Mad Monster Mansion. We can move on to the next level, guys. Pretty damn good. Where's the exit? Yeah, we vanquished that one pretty good. Only we could find the exit. Here it is. We're out of here. Never coming back. So there is a door over here. I forget how that one opens up, though. Yeah, I think there's something good in there. The hardest yet. You will fail. I'm that, I'll bet. She's right about that. The next world is the hardest yet, guys. But I have faith we'll be able to do it pretty well. It's a pretty cool level. Even though it's hard. Mitchell's Game Reviews. What's happening? 
for people who question what should I do? My teeth are in terrible condition, says Mitchell Scheme Review. It's all good, Mitchell. Don't worry. You know, just do your best. Try to go to the dentist when you can to get them straightened up or fixed. I know it's expensive. You know, just make sure to brush your teeth. I know it's a weird subject, but don't let it bother you too much. You can't control it, you know. Just, it's not a big deal. So where do we go next, though, guys? Down, I guess? We have no choice, really. How do we get to the Rusty Bucket Bay, guys? I'm trying to think of places. Because I know we were right there next to Rusty Bucket Bay, but we weren't on the top. What's up, Paul? Thanks for stopping by the playthrough, guys. This is the bubble gloop swamp. Pretty sure we did everything here. All you guys are doing well in the chat once again thank you for joining I'm trying to think of which way to go here guys sorry if I'm concentrating here it's just because we are we clearly went to the top we're missing somewhere this is back here that's the exit I think there's nothing in here really Shortcut. We get to the other side. Where are you taking us? Okay, that actually worked out pretty nicely. Snow level. I don't know, guys. I just have the feeling we have to go up here somewhere. Maybe we should just go back to where that Rusty Bucket Bay was and see if we can get in there. Yeah. See, Rusty Bucket Bay is right here, I believe. Not in here. I guess the next room. Doesn't look like there's a whole, much, whole lot of anything in here. Nameless saying good morning, Trippy Crew. Good morning, Nameless. It's 2.46, Rob, Matt. Different kind of morning. So, guys, this is Rusty Bucket Bay right here. Or, you know, it's the room. That's why I'm trying to trying to think of how we're going to get up there. But it's right up there. I think it's through here.
There's that gate right there. Which looks like it should head to Ru Rusty Bucket Bay. I mean, we already came in here, so I don't know if there's going to be much of anything else to do. down here <laughs> Shout out to Cranbox. Hope you're doing well, Cranbox. Dang guys, trying to remember this. It's a crazy thing about this hub world, you know? It's just they make it a puzzle within itself. Breakfast. That sounds so potent right now, Johnny number five. Shout out to Basley Taroni. What's up, Basley? Is it up here? Hold on one second, guys. Yeah, the graphics I think are bad. find this guy. Sorry, I was just fixing my computer for a second, guys. <laughs> I've seen worse graphics on the Xbox 360, to be honest. I know. So we already did the eyes there. It's probably somewhere in this room. Alright, guys. Hold on. I'm just going to grab something real fast. Be right back, guys. Thanks again for chilling with me, guys. See if we can vanquish this game once and for all. See if we can find this, guys. All 
Alright, just had to fix the chat back up there. This hidden spider webs are in the background. Okay, we already tried through that hole. Because Sabian already told the story, you missed that. You'll have to watch the last uh, live stream. You guys made me tell you uh, how I lost my virginity. Spoiler warning, I'm still a virgin. So that story wasn't that exciting. The story of how I lost my virginity. I'm still a virgin. Okay. Now you know the truth. Just kidding, guys. Don't. I know some of you might actually be taking me serious. That was, that was a joke. Yeah, so we gotta head back down. Lightbright Jally. What's happening, Lightbright? Welcome to the uh, community. We got a really cool live stream crew. I will say, a lot of times our live streams are pretty lit. Um, you know, when we do these late night live streams, it's more of just a chill crew, which is, I like it, you know. I, you know, I get to chill with, uh, I don't know, more intimate setting with the, the trippy community. And quite frankly, we're playing Banjo-Kazooie, one of my favorite games of all time. That said, I was really hoping to maybe defeat it tonight, and I mean, I think we still have a shot, but if we get stuck on something like this where we can't remember the way into uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, it's going to make it tough. Where is the way to Rusty Bucket Bay? Okay, this is where we came from, right? Probably gonna have to turn back, yeah. <laughs> oh no! I didn't mean go that way. Turn back. Looks like we're heading down. Yeah, this is definitely a damn good game. The next level is going to be tough if we can actually get there. Alright. So it's got to be coming around here, guys. Damn, Trippy Johnny number 5, 8 a.m. where you're at? That's crazy. Okay, I think this was just a dead end, wasn't it? Unless this opens somehow. It looks like that should open, but... This is the entrance to Click Clock Wood, which isn't open yet. <laughs> Lupin, what's up, Lupin? Funny, funny. Lupin telling us how they lost their virginity. 2 a.m. 
It is uh, 3 a.m. for me, basically. Yeah, we still don't have the puzzle piece here to open that up. Dang it, guys. How are we missing something? Here's Treasure Trove Cove. We got everything here. Checked, didn't we? Maybe not. Yeah, now that I. What is in here? Oh, the. In okay. That's how you open Bubble Gloop Swamp. Find this one, guys. Twiginator, what's up, Twiginator? Got everything up here, guys. Jeez. No. Light bright. What are we looking for? We're looking for. Um, we just got done with Mad Monster Mansion, so we're looking for basically the next. The way to get to uh, the next place, which should be Rusty Bucket Bay. Not this way already, right? Back towards the beginning. Unless there was somewhere back here, but I don't think there was. Yeah, really nothing going on back here. Okay, so head up. Yeah, let me know if you guys know the way. I mean, through process of elimination, I guess we should get it here. Jeez. Alright, so that's towards... Clanker, we already checked both of those. It's gotta be up here more. Probably something small I'm missing. Yeah. It's 3 a.m. here. Okay, two ways here. I think we still have to go this way. Woo! <laughs> 
that. Hopefully it's this way, I'm hoping. Okay, so do we go everywhere here? This just takes us down here. What could we be missing? Oh, appreciate the, uh, nice. Thank you very much for the donation, Dolphit. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Dolphy, you've been really, really awesome, man. Really appreciate that. Especially the donation as I'm lost in the <laughs> the hub world. Appreciate that, guys. We'll figure this out. We already, un we already unlocked her, right? Yeah. It's to head back. Get out of here. Chronic Legend. What's up, Chronic Legend? What's happening? For some reason, we cannot figure out the next location to go. This is the graveyard over here. There was that one building there, but... Hmm. Lupin saying does not like the re-released version of the game, really. I mean, it's nice how you don't have to get all the music notes again. That was terrible. So there's got to be a way. I mean, we'll check out here real quick. But there's got to be a way to make it into that room that we did. We kill these guys. Going down. Maybe there's something out here that we missed. I know there's that one room. I forget how to get out there though. I thought that was something towards the end of the game. Alright, uh, Light Bright, I'll head up there. Let's see if maybe I missed something up there, probably. That makes sense. Damn, doesn't even hurt the bees? They are all powerful. Lupin liked collecting the music notes. Yeah, it's, I mean, for sure I'd kind of be with you, but obviously for, you know, live stream purposes, it works out pretty nicely. I don't want to die and have to do it all over again while we're in a live stream. Alright, so we pretty much eliminated everything, guys. It's got to be the one last area. There's probably something I missed there. Oh, I fell. Damn this camera angle. This camera has not held up very well. Alright, there we go. Don't fall, Banjo. Chronic Legend saying the N64 was Nintendo's prime. Yeah, I would say, man, I'd probably say the Super Nintendo myself. 
but obviously both times were good. Is there something I'm missing up here? I mean, that, that room is where Rusty Bucket Bay is, where we're trying to get to, but I can't find a way up top. Is there a way up that I'm missing? How do I get up there? I have to raise the level somehow, don't I? How do I raise the water level? That's what I have to do. How are we going to do this, guys? Going good, Nameless. Hope you're doing good. Oops. Wrong way there. Oh, wait. See, because that's, that's the level we're trying to get to right there. Watch out. Oh, really? The pirate that lives in Rusty Bucky Bay? I'll check that out. Interesting. here again. Is there a way in here to raise the water level? I didn't see anything. Gotta go through the tunnel under the water. It says light. Uh, light bright. I mean, this is already where you have to come to unlock that. That's the thing I don't get, you know? There's a tunnel I'm missing. You'd think it'd be in that one room. Banjo. Back to the ship, but to your left, he's saying. Yeah, I thought I remember being in this room. Let's see. Am I somehow missing a tunnel? Light bright. Back to the ship. See, this is what I thought he was talking about, about the ship here. Appreciate that, Dolphin. Thank you. It 
Can't be that way. Big ass bird thing you gotta talk to? What the hell? This is the room we need to get the water to uh, rise in. Maybe, guys? <laughs> I appreciate that dagger. Back to the ship. One other place I think it might be. If not, I might have to look it up exactly how it gets to the next level. I remember this one was kind of tough. A little bit too tough, probably. I mean, kind of weird. Can't find it. Doesn't make sense. Hold on one second. I remember what to do. Ah, that's annoying. It's that gate because you have to actually break through it. And I didn't I didn't break through it the right way. Later guys. The Sabian. Alright, I'll look it up. Little nightmares? Sounds interesting enough. The trippy Johnny number five. Don't give up. We got this. I remember what to do now. Thanks again, Dolphin. Thank you so much for the uh, the donations. That is greatly appreciated. That's awesome, man. That's why we need to go in here. Let's go ahead and grab some health while we're here. How you doing, David Stewart? My weekend was pretty good. Run, Banjo. You'd think a bear would be able to handle some bees.
All right, heading into here. All right, so we need to head over to this gate, which I tried to open up, and I just think I did it wrong. Yeah, that's what we were missing right there. And then I think, yeah, we got to turn back into the pumpkin and go in that door. That's right. I remember I've had a hard time with this before. I think it was, it, part of it's because the way that the, uh, the gate looks. I don't know, it just seems like the texture is kind of weird, but whatever. No, I haven't, I haven't heard of the suffering. Konami blows now, this is, <laughs> Nami used to be really good. I used to love their opening chime for the Super Nintendo. That was pretty good. We must morph back into the pumpkin. Here we go. Paul Ferris saying, how about playing Layers of Fear? Paul, I do have that game. Um, like, I haven't really played it yet, so what do you think? Do you think it's, you think it's worthy? Like a blind playthrough, or I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks, Nameless. with these camera angles. Dr. Mance is saying Levels of Fear was an intense game. Really? Might have to play it then. I don't know if I can handle it via live stream. We'll see. Mimi, what's up, Mimi? Don't be a, you better not be a uh, stranger. We like it when you come and hang out with us, Mimi. Let's see what we have in here. Only the pumpkin can fit. Okay, so we're gonna turn out of the pumpkin for some reason into Banjo here. It's a random, so that was a banjo house? I would kill you. Ugh. Okay, so what are we doing here? That's the only reason to come in here? None of these even open? Jeez, guys, they really made that one fucking well hidden. Like, holy shnikes. 
Grim Fandango, says Lupin. All right, I'll try it out. Limbo. I do have Limbo, S and I. Definitely a trippy game. Run, pumpkin! Oh no, not good. <laughs> Dang it! We need some lives too. Isn't there one back here though? No. Oh yeah, there it is. Alright guys, so we're about to make it to the next level Rusty Bucket Bay. So we'll be able to check out a brand new level. My favorite level is still coming. It is the Click Clock Wood, which is epic. You guys will like that one if you haven't seen it before. Shout out to Shiny Isotope. We got another big uh, GTA live stream later on today, so hopefully you can make that one, Shiny Isotope. Fall down here or we'll die. Let's see how far we can make it as the pumpkin. They should just let you use the transformations everywhere. Finally. Alright, so now the water level is higher. We can simply just swim up to the place we were trying to get to. So, is this open yet? Yeah, so this still hasn't been lifted yet. We need that one to uh, get high enough to make it to that next room. We can simply just swim right up. And here we are. Rockstar Crate. So I think this one just opens up too. I don't even know if you have to unlock it. It's one you could just walk into. Nope, never mind. I will get revenge on you. Nice. Appreciate that, Dolphit. Much love, Dolphit. Who's in Tampa? Uh, Alright, let's get back up. I think go over here. you doing? Passed out over here? Aha! War caves? Swim banjo. Yeah. Thanks for the like, Ice Man. Much appreciated. Thank you, guys. Much love to you guys. What's in here? Can 
we open this? Ah! That's exactly what we were looking for. Gigantic ship here, guys. Nice. I like how in this game, you know, it gives you a reason to actually get the collectibles because you need them to, you know, to open up the levels. Nice. That's awesome. The bear and the bird combo. So sick. Oh, what the hell? It's not even open. Thanks again. My name is Jeff. Hope you're doing well. open. Isn't there another cave too or can we not reach that one? Nah, never mind. Not sure how to get there. Alright guys. And now we can finally enter Rusty Bucket Bay. Check it out. The next level took a long time to get to this one, unfortunately. But it's a pretty cool one. Basically, you have this massive ship. The water is polluted. So you don't want to really go in there. Look at this. This level is like a cartoon. All kinds of entrances. I feel like that Haunted Mansion level you know, kind of prepares you for this level with finding all the different hidden entrances. Different places to enter. As you can see, I don't think it'll take too long when we do actually beat it, just because a lot of these music notes are not not the hardest to find, really. I remember there is a pretty tough boss battle in this one, though. Where do you go to get out of here? Jump banjo. There it is. What was that down there though? Is that just a one up or something? Hidden item right here. Oh, feather. Play some worms, says, says SNI. I do have one of the worm schemes. Yeah, look at that thing. What the hell? Damn you, camera. Stop fucking up. See, there's a lot of those things you can open up. They're pretty hard to find. Back off. Punch him, Banjo. Get him.
Look at this. Picture of Conkers. Of course, we do have Conkers Bad Fur Day as well, so might have to vanquish that one in the future. Jeez, this level is crazy, guys. It's huge as far as the ship is concerned. Jump across. Whoa! Dang it! More of these to go down in. Huge platforming room over there. <laughs> Earthworm Jim. Of course, how could I forget Lupin? You never forget Earthworm Jim. Oh no! Not in the oily water! Okay, so it doesn't hurt you, I guess. It just maybe makes it so you can't breathe long enough? I don't know. Get away, B. Alright, and I believe there's a secret room right here as well. Man, so many hard rooms to find. Look at this. So you have to get out of that. Ah. Is this one? I think this one is. Although I don't know how you're supposed to get to it. Jump! No, never mind, not that one. I was gonna say, that'd be way too hard. Which wouldn't surprise me with this game now. Is it this one? What is this? Oh, is that the entrance? Oh, nice. Full circle. Talk about a hard level to get a hundred music notes on. Oh, man. Pay the toll. We did it! guy chilling over there. Damn, already got 30 of these? Oh, we fell in. We might as well go save him. Oh, the shark. We got you, buddy. Like there's a room here we can get in. How do you get up? Whoa. 
Alright guys, let's make our way up here. This is probably going to be a jiggy. Ooh, music notes. And we're actually doing pretty well on the music notes already. Is that taking us to? Darn it. No, son of a. Get out of here. No! That lockjaw? Come on. Jesus, camera angle is shit in this room. Barely even made that one. Okay, easy. Over to that side. Aha! Nice! Thank you. Well deserving there, guys. Yeah. <laughs> You know what you're gonna do. And a one up, look at that. Not too shabby, guys. Not too bad. Alright, so we gotta leave the same way we came in with this fucking guy. Oh yeah, we got that dolphin under there. I'll save you, dolphin! Are you okay, buddy? Oh no, he's gonna die, guys. What are we gonna do? I don't know about you guys, but I think he'll be alright. We'll, we'll let him be. He'll be just fine there. <laughs> Yeah, guys, thanks again for joining up. We will continue. Basically, in the next installment, what I'll do is we'll just finish it off. I mean, we just have to end off Rusty Bucket Bay, then do my favorite level after that, and then after we finish those two levels, it'll be the uh, thrilling conclusion. I was hoping to actually get a little bit more accomplished, but these levels are massive at this point. And it was hard to find the entrance to Rusty Bucket Bay. Fuck, man. They make it so well hidden, guys. But yeah, guys, thanks again for being part of the live stream. You know it means a fuck ton to me. It's awesome to be able to chill with you guys while beating the trippiest games there is, you know. And this is definitely uh, one of many that we are going to conquer. Make sure to hit me up on Twitter if you guys have any suggestions or any recommendations of games that you definitely want us, you know, as a trippy nation to vanquish together guys so thanks again for being part of it make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel we do have a major live stream coming up huge shout out to dolphin thanks for the uh, donations dolphin hell yeah that's what i'm talking about sni the lupin trippy miner what's happening trippy miner ice man all you guys dr mantis toboggan chronic legend you guys are awesome and in the next live stream i promise we will vanquish Banjo-Kazooie once and for all. It's going to be crazy, guys. And like I said, we get to play my favorite level of all, Click Clockwood. Trust me, guys, it's highly trippy. So like, subscribe, hit the notification button if you have not already. But more importantly, guys, you know, thank you so much for joining. As always, make sure... Not the bees! 
Not the bees! Stay trippy, my friends.